mix of wheel and track appeared in the Kettenkraftrad, the tracked motorcycle of the German army. A four-cylinder engine located behind the driver drove the front sprocket wheels of the treads. A turn of the handlebars would also break one of the tracks as an aid to steering. The Germans built 8,000 of these vehicles for reconnaissance and for towing light artillery cannons. In 1940, the German army felt the need to have a light tracked vehicle that could be deployed by airplane. Not in the sense that it needed to be dropped by parachute, but it needed to fit inside the cargo hold of a Junkers Ju-52 aircraft. The NSU Werke designed a vehicle with the Schachtellaufwerk. This was the complex German overlapping road wheel system they had on several half-tracks. The vehicle was done in 1941 and went into production. It was called the Kleines Kettenkraftrad and was pretty much a motorcycle with tracks. The Kettenkrat steering system was a pretty complex design and steering would be accomplished by turning the handlebars and that steered the vehicle. When a sharper turn was needed the track brakes would help assist the driver in steering. The front steering could also be removed and it could be used as a complete tracked vehicle. The Kettenkrat was mostly used on the eastern front but also saw service in Africa and the Western Front. And it would be used to tow small guns, cargo and fastly deploy soldiers to a rally point. It would be also used to lay communication cables and later in the war when aviation fuel would become scarce, it would be used to tow aircraft to their takeoff point. The Kettenkrat was a pretty good vehicle and it was even used by the Allies if they could get their hands on one. Even though it had great success, the production was stopped in 1944 after 8000 were produced. The NSU had such great success with this vehicle and the demand was still great after the war, the production of this vehicle started up again until the 1950s. The Kettekrat we're looking at today is from a private collection that always joins in on the events in and around Arnhem to celebrate and commemorate Operation Market Garden. And this vehicle can also be seen driving around Militrex. And for 10 euro you can take a ride on this vehicle at this event. I hope you guys enjoyed this short historical video and walk around. This was a requested video and I had a lot of fun making it. Enjoy the last few minutes of this walk around and some detailed shots of the Kettenkrat.